pheasant tail. No. Let's see if we can find a big. What's this up here? Oh, dude. There's a treasure trove. We found our our feather for our wacky fly dye. If we isn't that a beautiful color? Okay, we are back from Antelope Island. Let's see what treasures we have. You guys remember this? And for the wacky fly diaries, I'll just say. I have to incorporate the materials that I find into the fly that I'm tying. And I'm trying a new hook, a size 12. And it's just a generic box of hooks that I got off Amazon. Just testing them because they're cheap Look for the thread. Some olive 70 denier. And we're going to start about two eyes back. I'm tying a little bump. And I'll bring our thread back out. Okay, so for the first material, I'm tying some of this orange pheasant tail. Three of those fibers, the same length. Don't you guys love that sound? The sound of a bobbin spinning. Okay, we're going to tie to that bump. Right in front of that bump, that makes those tail fibers splay up. Trim the rest. Next, our salty. Goose feather. Okay, so I trimmed off four or five fibers. Man, these are in terrible condition. That's okay, that's the purpose of Wacky Fly Diaries. I'm gonna take something bad, something junk, and make something good out of it. Put just a dab of super glue. And we're gonna just catch it. All salty. It. Clean up those tips. Peacock colored uh, angel hair, my some wopsy dubbing wax. Just gonna wax the thread a little bit. A lot of you don't think that it's necessary, and it's not, um, but it does help the dubbing stick. A real small noodle here, we're gonna come back into that by it a little bit. Next, got some cheap plastic canvas yarn. Waterproof. Pretty much the same thing as strike indicator. And I'm just going to strip off a two inch piece here. And I'm just going to take my wire brush here and I'm just going to brush it out. Brush that side out. Turn it around. And I'll brush that side out, just like that. I'm going to fold it in half, just to give me a little more bulk. Got the antron here, or the, I should say, poly yarn. I'm just going to unwrap over it. And then we're going to go this way, pull the wing back. So essentially, we're crisscrossing. Then when I come back up here, I'll pull this wing forward. Get behind that. Now, some peacock dubbing. Just dubbing a noodle now. Okay, and so what we're going to do with our dubbing is the same thing. I really need to invest in some quality dubbing. Grab the wings, pull them back, get rid of this access. It looks terrible now, but hang in there, guys. I'm gonna, we're gonna have a pretty cool finished product. Next, I'm gonna take a black marker. I'm gonna color a couple inches on my thread. And pull everything back. The wing, pull the wings up. I'm gonna trim those in a second, but and then I'm just gonna Brush out some of this just to get some legs. And if 
got a couple of those silver fibers in there, so I'm just going to come in here and just color those. Okay, I'm going to grab all this and trim at a really steep angle up and back. And here is the fly. It's a spinner, a little spinner dry fly. I'm excited for blue wings and big drakes this summer. And this is this should catch fish. I like using the orange tails because it kind of gives it a little hot spot. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you, and I will see you guys on the next episode. This is Steve from Blackfly.